Hello everyone, my name is Estella Delberry and I'm an independent consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what you will need to do a Facebook Paparazzi Live party. Okay, so there's several things you're going to need. The obvious things are a phone, okay, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, whatever, um, uh, either your laptop, a camera, something to videotape it. Okay, most people use their phone. I use my iPhone. So that's what you're gonna need. Second thing is, another obvious, you're gonna need a Facebook account, right? So I go live off of my Facebook business page. I have a personal page, but I am told and read and have learned that Facebook does not want you really running your business off of your personal page. So I set up a business page. So that's the second thing you'll need. The third most important thing or obvious thing is jewelry. Because without the jewelry, you don't have a jewelry live, right? So those are the three most important or obvious things that you will need to do a paparazzi live on your Facebook page. Other things you're gonna need are, there are certain ways of displaying your jewelry. I have pegboards, okay? Cheap enough, because you get them at, um, Home Depot or Lowe's department store, they cut them in half for you. You don't have to put the tape around them like I did. I didn't paint mine, they're just white. I bought the white ones. Um, but again, we, you don't need to have all the things you see other consultants have that they have when they do their lives. Cause it can be intimidating. Cause you want it to be, you think you need all the pretty things, all the extra things, you really don't. You just need to get out there and do it. You need to smile, you need to be yourself. And yes, it's nerve wracking in the beginning, but it gets easier, okay? The first time I went live, I had my phone turned the wrong way. So everyone that was watching me was watching me that way, turning their head. I had no clue, I had no idea. I had never done anything with Facebook, never anything live. A learning experience, but guess what? Never did it again. So you do it and you learn. So you need your iPhone, your Facebook account, your jewelry, pegboard. If you want to use a pegboard to display your jewelry, it is easier. I find it easier, but you don't have to. I've seen other people use their table. Okay, they put a table in front of them, put their jewelry out. I recommend putting your jewelry out in front of you, okay, ready to grab so that you can show rather than fumbling through bags. Have your jewelry out of the bags it comes in because that's a little annoying to hear the sound of the crackling of the paper. Um, I, pre I prefer not to hear that when I watch other consultants. I prefer not to hear the rumbling of the paper. So have it all display. If you're gonna do 25 pieces, 50 pieces, whatever it is, your live is as long as you want it to be, okay? It could be half hour, I suggest at least half hour. So have your jewelry on your table if you don't have pegboards, but you will need numbers to identify your pieces, okay? Because when you show a piece, when you display a piece, you're gonna say, um, this gorgeous ring, red stone, rhinestones, wide band, it's number, let me get a number here. Um, and you would display a number and you would say it's number 271 or whatever the number is. And for them to claim it, they're gonna say, sold or mine 271. That's how you know what piece they want. When you put your jewelry down, when you put your jewelry up on the pegboard, you will put that number with the jewelry. So if they don't claim it right on the spot and they claim it later on, you can turn around and find that piece of jewelry. If it's on your table, then put, put that little card or that number right on top of the jewelry again so you know where to find it. Organization, super, super important to be organized, whether you have a lot of jewelry, a little bit of jewelry, whatever it is, be organized. You want to, you want it to go smoothly. Okay, and you will fumble, you'll get mixed up, you'll forget certain words. We all do, I still do. I have little notes all in front of me of words that I tend to block out. I just tend to, for some reason, forget the word dandelion, for instance, or gunmetal, or, so there's certain words that I just, for some reason, just blank out on me. So I put little notes in front of me of what those words are. Okay, so your display boards, your numbers, your peg boards, if that's what you're gonna use, the table. Um, another thing, obviously, you will need is baskets. You hear people say, I'll put this in your basket. Okay, let me put this in your basket. Once they claim it, your baskets can be as easy as little Tupperware or the supermarket, little plastic uh, containers. Take the lids off, put them in front of you, 
little pieces of paper with a marker. So when if a Susan comes on, you can write Susan on the marker, scotch tape that to the little bowl or your basket, put her jewelry in there when she claims it. So it could be a plastic bowl. It could be a yellow mailing envelope, the bubble wrap. You could just put their name on the top strip. It could be, um, what else can you use? Paper plastic, uh, not paper, plastic Ziploc bags and have again a marker, write their name on it, put the jewelry in there. That way everything's organized, everything's together at the end of your live. Then you'll be able to count your pieces, see who bought what, tally it up and invoice them. So basically that is all you need. Oh, forgot another most important thing is lighting. You need good lighting. Doesn't mean you cannot do a live without good lighting, but it's gonna make a big difference when you show your jewelry, okay? Whether it's two lights, one light, make sure you have good lighting, test it. You can do a video, try it to see how it looks, and then you're ready to go. Just have fun, be yourself, smile. It's so important to smile. Show them that you love what you do and that you believe in the jewelry and the value that they're getting. If you have any questions, I have my information below. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Again, follow me on my business page, which is Estella's $5 Jewelry House. If you have any questions, my email's below. Thank you. Have a good night.